with me only if you have what it takes to do tracker work. Where is E. Borealis? You know, DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you like. Except the spaceport, of course. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Sure. Could I tempt you with some Aurora, perhaps? That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. All right, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house you might be interested in. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a curiously refreshing, fruit-infused red wine served in a commemorative bottle. But if your palate is a bit more refined, we have our Bayou Private Reserve, a painstakingly distilled cognac stored in the purest Arcturan crystal. That enough? Or are you hungry as well? Ah, a bit of a foodie, are we? I can't say I blame you. We're just as renowned for our cuisine here as we are for our drinks. First, let me tempt you with our melon caviar. Delicate, salty spheres of melon, hydroponically grown in our private aqua garden. And to finish, our lounge special strip. A grilled soy-based steak served with a steaming side of chipped potatoes. <laughs> it's delicious. Anything there sound appetizing? Or are you looking for something else? Of course, of course. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above. Just to use the elevators. then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. 
For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Not currently, I'm afraid. Unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. I'm sorry, but promises make for poor currency. Bullets flying would certainly be bad for the club's reputation. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Oh, ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon. Making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Come back soon. Doctor. A doctor. Mother's mother, I never had the patience for computer systems. Poker night is going to hear about you. Well, uh, hello. Didn't expect to see you here. I'm glad at least one of us is having a good time. Your mother found a deal. One hell of a deal. An all-inclusive vacation package to Neon. <laughs> it's a retirement present. And, uh, well... Everyone's heard about the Astral Lounge. Absolutely not. Well, probably not. No, we are not. Wait, what, what are you doing here? Yeah, nothing good happens here. I've been here long enough to know that. Figures. Oh, dear lord. So, um, let's pretend this never happened, hmm? Oh, I do think that would be best, sweetie. 
Oh, I don't see what the big deal is. It's all legal. Walter is very proud of his business, and he should be. His ships are very high quality. Any luck out there? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Catherine Luzion keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder, yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Are they? <laughs> Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Something to drink? Excellent choice. 
The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Well, of course, the Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. How unfortunate, but I will be here should you change your mind. Hope to see you again. Daddy? What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. That's an order, not a suggestion. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting? Making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. 
It'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... All right. You win. Hand over the money. This... thing... is all yours. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I'm listening. Not happening. Hold on. Let's keep Neon Security out of this. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters... In the same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible. Keeping secrets. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Slayton Aerospace is the premier component supplier for a variety of Starship needs. But if you were supposed to be here, you would know that already.
I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. That doesn't sound like something Slayton Aerospace would have the legal authority to do, does it? I'm getting tired of telling you. Easy there. Maybe we can work something out. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. If you have a question, you can chat with the receptionist all you want. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? For the moment, Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Shutters. 
another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now! Let me just get that for you. You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. There's the door. It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you.
now call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Aren't you? In the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline, there's a part of you that belongs here. It happens to all of us. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself and then... We will handle the rest. Assuming there is no information we are lacking, that seems reasonable. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. If I know he probably wouldn't soon, do the same for us. Could we talk? But that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is, it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Slayton took it all. Probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment while you are in jail. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. I have Let's talk things more back at the ship. I wish to discuss with you when you have time. This was a good meeting. Very productive.
Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. relief to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. But talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely. And over time, I established relationships. They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. It describes the people of House Varun. We who have been promised to serve the Great Serpent now and forever. In exchange, he promises to care for us when he returns to his domain. Yes, I have found that to be true. It was, and is, still a surprise. You must understand, I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter, for they are lost, their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. It's not something I have much experience with. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force. Seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me, got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately. But I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends and I abandoned them. And in the years since, years. I was immediately reassigned to another role, light years away. No. I told myself it's because I never had the time, but in truth, I was scared of what I'd find. No, maybe. I, I don't know. It all happened so fast, and I've had so much time since then to replay it in my head. Wonder if I should have done things differently. In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. How little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone. To be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side.
Thank you. That is... <sighs> I'm sorry, I am not used to someone being so considerate on my behalf. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom. laugh about it back at the station. Pleasure. Ah, thank you for reminding me. Certainly. He is a quiet man. Reserved. I believe he had lived through a great many hardships, though he never spoke of them. I never felt it proper to ask. He valued his personal space and quiet moments. It was one thing we always shared in common. Years ago, I had heard he was alive, but did not attempt to contact him. I did not feel it was right. I hope this is not a mistake. I do not know, not for sure. 
I did not see them fall that day, and... I suppose I have hoped they survived. I admit, I have not investigated before now, at least in part because of... what I feared I might learn. House Varun is in a distant corner of space, far away from the rest of the settled systems. While this serves our interests, it can also pose challenges. Many critical resources are scarce, and diplomatic relations with the United Colonies and Freestar Collective were tense at the best of times. It was the most practical way to acquire what we need, without raising too many questions. Still is. All right. If you have more questions, I shall do my best to answer them. Some other time, then. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. So long. the man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Hopefully the effort required here was unique. I do not wish to make a habit of this. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. I can help you with, Captain? Oh, right, right. Almost forgot about it. <laughs> this is for you. Sure, I've got it. I'm all ears. Well, okay then. Some would say this place represents all the worst impulses of humanity. Something you need? Have any new books for me? I'll say. You ever heard of the Mantis, the famous bounty hunter? Some people say the Mantis has superpowers. I don't think that's true though. They're just really tough, and have a cool ship. If you had a cool ship, you'd be like the Mantis, only better! I bet you'd make a pretty great superhero. No way! You really are a superhero then! Bye! Hello, Captain. Now yeah, the way you handle things, not bad, not bad. The whole Terramorph situation, seriously, hats off to you. When I was growing up, everyone was afraid of Terramorphs. How they could seemingly strike anywhere at any time, the carnage, the destruction. The stuff you've done here could save so many lives.
Eat your nutrient paste or the Terramorphs will get you. Were you ever told that? I don't know about these Asilis. That micro would wipe out the Terramorphs for good and certain. I mean, the Asilis? It'll take longer, take more hand-holding, and there's no saying the Asilis will fully get the job done. I hope for all our sake you made the right call. I suppose... the United Colonies. Hell, everyone and everywhere owes you big time. Even if they don't know it. Excuse me, what? It's good to be out and about. The lodge gets stuffy sometimes. I found some stuff. Nothing too exciting, but it's yours. My life is an open book. Well, mostly open. Well, just ask. Take it easy. ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance.
going to want to weigh in on this. Agreed, we should not delay. I think I prefer the wild planets to this city. At least there, the predators are easier to spot. I'm fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So, we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. That ship could be anywhere in deep space. Even if we got lucky, a single grav jump and we'd lose them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. I'd like to talk to you. What's new? 